Hey there, it's Leslie Langdon with Unity TV and we're here at Two Peas for the Two Peas and Unity holiday card making event. All week from Monday to Friday, we have our designers working with our favorite Unity stamps and we are putting together Christmas projects for you. We are making some holiday cards using Bella Boulevard's Christmas Wishes stamp set by Unity. And lots of cute stamps to work with here. So pull out your die cuts, your pattern paper, just scraps even. You only need little inch strips and some white cardstock and we're good to go. All right, stay with me. So I am all about efficiency this year because I'm moving soon. So I need to make Christmas cards really fast. So I'm gonna be using my Grand Caliber and some Spellbinders die templates to cut myself a whole bunch of dies. Um, and I'm gonna be mass producing cards. So I'm hoping that you can take from this some tips to make your card making quick this year. Okay, so I've taken various die templates. This one is the postage stamp. Then we have wonky squares, and this is just a standard circle, and this is from a set called Ribbon Banners. So just cut your paper down to about eight inches across, cover all your dies there on the base plate, and then you put your cutting plate over top. Okay, make sure all they're in there still. Okay. And then you run it through the grand caliber. The whole point of doing this is you're going to be cutting about, um, you know, anywhere, depending on the, the size of your die templates, you can cut 8 to 10 or um, in one cut, so that makes it very appealing. Okay, so now that you have your paper cut, what you do is take the extra step to emboss it, and what you're doing is you're pushing the paper down into the die template, and then it gives the middle part, portion will be um, a little raised. Okay, so you put your tan mat over top, nice and gently, and what I like to do is just double check that all the paper is still in place. Okay, and then you can do the same to the other side. Okay, everything's good. Then you put on a different plate in the sandwich, and this is the pink embossing plate. Okay, so put that over top and run that through again. We can move the grand caliber out of the way. Okay, and let's see what we have here. Okay, we have our various die cut shapes ready for our stamping. So there's our wonky squares. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do an extra step and I'll show you it does make a difference. I'm going to leave the paper in the die templates. I'll put those ones back. I'm going to grab a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to show you just, uh, you probably already know how to do this, but just in case you don't. So take your, take the paper, leave them in there, put them on a scrap, and we're going to quickly use the die template as a stencil, okay? So you're going to grab an ink. I'm going to use this um, Tumble Glass by um, Ranger, a Distress Ink. It's just a nice light blue and it'll give um, our die templates, our die cuts, just a little edging, okay? So I'm using this Ink Essentials blending tool here. Okay, it's a quick step, but you know what? It's worth it. It makes a difference uh, to your, your image. It just um, helps frame it better. Okay, so there is an example of what that looks like, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them, and uh, then we're ready to stamp our images. Okay, so this is just in one cut, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're able to cut eight things in uh, one shot with the grand caliber there. So use any die templates that you have, you know, and just mass cut. You can even do that in like one night and the next night do your stamping. So for the card design, I've chosen something really simple. Because um, I don't have a lot of time, I want to use up my scraps as well. So I just cut a whole bunch of one inch strips of pattern paper. Okay, so what we're going to do, take your card, put your pattern paper in the middle. I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use a more colorful one, maybe a more Christmassy one. Okay, so that's going to be in the middle. 
Okay, and then what I'm going to do is cut like a little, as if I'm cutting a ribbon, I'm going to give it like a little sort of banner bottom. Okay? And then you can imagine that your image will be stamped on top there. So there's the, there's the card design I'm going for. Okay? Now we can just put that aside and let's concentrate on the stamping. So we're going to be doing uh, Christmas projects all month long of November on Unity TV. So you can come by and check us out every Monday. Okay, so let's delve into our Christmas Wishes stamp set. And uh, let's choose wisely here. Okay, so you're going to be wanting to stamp the sentiment as well onto the die cut if you can. So you got to space accordingly. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this tree first. I'm going to stamp it up here. I'm going to stamp it as close to the top as I can because I want room at the bottom for the sentiment. So I'm using here, these are Unity's uh, acrylic blocks. Okay, they have the nice wooden handles on them. Okay, so this is the sentiment that goes with the tree. So I want it as close to the tree as possible. Okay, so wishing you a tremendous holiday season. So that one we could just set aside because we'll color it later. We'll choose the different papers for the different die cuts when we're, you know, gluing them together and then we can choose different markers that match the papers and stickles, etc. Okay, so now I'm I would probably just stick with the same stamp um, over and over again, but for this purpose I want to show you all these cute stamps and all the different kinds of cards you can make with this set. Okay? But I usually, you know, I find one that I really like and I'll just, you know, mass produce that particular card. So here we have Santa, and there is a sentiment that goes along with him. Ho, ho, hope you have a Merry Christmas. So I stamped him over in the top left, just so I'd have room for the sentiment at the bottom there. Okay, so there's Santa done. Let's see, we've got these cute penguins. Uh, this one has the scarf. Let's see, I'll stamp him here, and then there's, he's got a sentiment as well. So what's great about this set is that there's always um, a sentiment to match the particular image. So this one says, um, I love chillin' with you. So we'll just stamp that below the penguin. Maybe off to the side a little bit. Okay. And there's the ribbon banner that um, I had die cut. This sentiment is the perfect size for it. So I'll just stamp that in there and then we'll use it on another card. Perfect. Okay, so four left. Let's see what we've got. On the really tiny one here, this tiny postage stamp, this present is perfect. It's perfect size for it. And it already has the sentiment on it. So it's perfect. Okay, it says there's no time like the present. All right, so that's done. Now we're down to three. Um, this one also has the sentiment right underneath it, so that would be good for maybe this round one. You know what? Why don't we just stamp it in a different color? I've got this cactus green here. Let's give that a shot. I'm going to stamp it first on a scrap just because the I want to see what the colors are looking like. Oops. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so set that aside. Now we're down to two. We haven't stamped this one yet. This is another Christmas tree. Okay. So if we want to use that, um, well, there's another Merry, just a simple Merry Christmas here, but I'm wondering if I'll be able to get these both on here. You know what? I'll stamp this one. 
I'll stamp it and then I'll do the sentiment on, directly on the, uh, the card. So I'll stamp it right in the middle. Okay. And let's see. Um, there's one more penguin we can do. It's this little guy. And again, I'm not really going to have room for both an image and a sentiment on this smaller wonky square. So I will just do him by himself. And then we'll find a way to get the sentiment onto the card. Okay. All right. So um, in the meantime, what I've done is I've gone ahead and used the same paper that I used for the die cutting. And it's just that 110 pound paper from Staples or Office Depot. Um, just, uh, you know, you buy in a stack of 250 sheets or 100. And uh, it's really an expensive way to make cards, but it's still a nice, thick card stock. It's nice and smooth. Um, and the best part is you can get two cards uh, with each sheet of paper. You literally just cut it in half at five and a half inches and then fold them in half, your two pieces. All right, so the card sizes end up being five and a half by four and a quarter. So take your strips of pattern paper, your scraps, and uh, go ahead and just do this all in one sitting. You know, put them all on each, in the middle of each card, okay? Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to start putting together the stamped images with our cards. So just find which ones look good with what papers. Um, this one I find looks particularly cute. So I'm going to actually color that image a little green just to add some more color to this particular card. But I'm not going to do it on top of the card because the Copic markers will blend through the paper and ruin your card. So that's a good thing about using die cuts is all your coloring will not damage the inside of the card for your recipient. Okay? So green and pink are always a, a nice color combination. Okay? If you want to use your colorless blender, you can do that and it'll just push the color out of the way. So you can do that in the middle and it'll push the green out into the edges. Okay, so for your information, I used YG03 and the Colorless Blender. Okay, now we're ready just to glue it to the card, and then that card is done. So I'm not using 3D foam. I might have used it if I'm not planning on mailing these, but since I'm going to mail these, I want them to be extremely flat, okay, so that it, you save the money on the postage. Okay, so there's one card. Lots of white space on these. Okay, so here we have this image, and because there's no sentiment here, I did want to stamp Merry Christmas. I'll stamp it in the bottom, but I'm going to pull up this um, this ribbon, the ribbon paper, so that I have more room for that sentiment. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit, then we'll have plenty of room to stamp the sentiment, okay? So I'm just going to choose a black ink, nice and bold, and stamp it in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. So this guy, I'm going to you know, try and match colors. I'll use the same green I did with the present before, and I'll do his hat here. And I'll color his belly the same color. Okay, be careful not to go too close to the edges because when you do use, uh, oops, I shouldn't have colored on the card. See, it did bleed through there. Ah, gotta be careful. I was lucky that time. Um, but with using the cheaper paper, um, the fibers tend to bleed a little more. So just don't oversaturate with the Copics with the cheaper paper. Okay, and when I color in white images, like the penguin's body is supposed to be white, I like to just do like a little line of gray, kind of just where his shadow, or just to give him a little more definition here. Okay, you can even do it under his feet if you want. Okay. All right, and that's ready to be glued. I'm just using the Glue Glider Pro Plus here. Okay. All 
right, so if you want to take a little extra step and dress this guy up, let's put some red on him. Because it's Christmas after all, and green and red are the basics. So let's give his hat a little red stickles and that little dot up there. So I find stickles, you know, if you're looking for a little way to dress up your card, add a little stickles and, you know, it gives you that extra pop, the glitter, and you're good. Okay, so let's set that aside to dry. Next, let's use this polka dotted paper, maybe with Santa. Let's give Santa a nice red hat. Move your card aside. Oops. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna go like a little darker on the left hand side here. And then I'm gonna use the colorless blender right in the middle of his hat. Okay. The colorless blender tends to be, you know, even more so apparent when you use it on a, a darker color. Let's just go in a little bit here. Okay. All right, now if I had, uh, I have clear stickles, I'll probably add to uh, his hat later, but they're downstairs right now. So I'm going to use again a nice cool gray, C1 cool gray, and I'm going to go around Santa's beard here. There we go, maybe even around his nose. Okay, just give Santa a little bit more color to his beard. Okay, and if you want, you can give him some nice rosy cheeks. You can even use just like a skin color. This is RYR00. Okay. All right. So that's ready to be glued. You can see how I went through the back there. Okay, so these cards, you know, come together really fast. They're so simple. And since they're homemade, you know, you can still feel good about handing them out, mailing them. Okay, and there's so many options too. So you can just always change it up so you don't feel like you're making the same card over and over again. Okay, here's a Christmas tree. Let's make that a nice green. So always try and match your, um, your color choices with your markers and your stickles. Match it to the paper that you're using, the patterned paper. Okay, again, I'm trying to avoid the edges. Just saturate this a little bit. Okay, probably do a little brown for his, um, for the tree's stem. And then I have some Christmas red stickles I'll do for the heart up here. Okay, and then maybe I'll again use some red for the these dots. Okay, and then maybe some gold for the other ones. The more glitter, the better. Okay. You got these ones on the side. Okay, so that's done. Let that dry. Okay, and then let's just do one more. Okay, and there's this cute Christmas tree. And again, there's no sentiment on this one. So again, I'm going to just trim this a little bit. Okay, and the Merry Christmas. Um, I want to stamp it in green just to just to uh, give us something different. So I'm going to clean off the ink that was on here just by swooshing on this paper. And I'm going to use Stays On Cactus Green, which is a nice, vibrant green. Okay, ink up your stamp. Okay, cute. All right, so again, a nice green for this tree. Gonna use the brush tip. See, this tree has all these beads down here at the bottom that you know when you stamp it, it's black. But you can use something like stickles to cover those up. Okay, I'm just gonna go darker in the middle here. 
Okay, so I'm going to use gold for the star here. Try the best you can, you know, to to be, you know, really thin with the stickles close to the edge of the star. Um, why don't I do every second one gold? And then we'll find another color just to, um, you know, add some color to this tree. Why don't I pull in the blue? So this is called Lagoon Stickles. Okay, so I'll let this dry and then I'll glue it to the card. But you can see what it looks like now because I'll just put it on there. Okay, so there's that card. So again, I hope you know that you can mass produce your cards. Do it really super quick, especially using Unity stamps and this particular set, which I fully love. I think it's pretty awesome. Christmas Wishes by Bella Boulevard. Okay, and it's uh, last time I checked, it's in stock at two peas. So I hope you enjoyed your time with me and on Unity TV, and enjoy the two peas and Unity holiday card making week. Thanks and take care.